let me get this straight. You want to know the difference between mushrooms and LSD? Absolutely, I could be of assistance. <clears throat> seen this one before the what oh yeah I guess I did show you that one last week what what's that oh you were giving some more serious thought to uh, mushrooms I see and what's that you may or may not have tried LSD before mm -hmm. let me get this straight you want to know the difference between mushrooms and LSD Absolutely, I could be of assistance. <clears throat> Let me put TikTok away for a second. You know I'm on TikTok, right? Yeah, I showed you my TikToks before. And just before we get into talking, friend, I wanna make this extremely clear. This is not a conversation of me encouraging you to try either one of these, okay? I am having this conversation for the purpose of harm reduction and education. And I hope that after we talk today, you will be able to do some more research and prioritize safety. Mushrooms. You know, they come of the earth. They're going to be gritty, real, emotional. They're very emotional for me. LSD, she comes from the lab, you know? So she's a little bit more, um, how I've heard it described sterile. It's a more sterile experience. Not to say clean and mushrooms are dirty, because that's not true, but a bit more... If mushrooms are floating in a pond, right? If mushrooms are lying on your back and floating in a pond. LSD is gonna be lying on your back and floating in an isolation tank. You know what I mean? NIH style. I do float. Did I not? Have I not told you that before? Yeah, I'm a floater. I float. You should try floating, it's fun. And they're both sweet, you know? They're both a nice, sweet time. They're both fun, sweet, educational. If mushrooms are like a freshly harvested fall apple. Okay, LSD would be mm, this green apple caramel lollipop that everybody loves. You know what I mean? It's not one or the other. It's not one is greater than the other. I mean, to each their own, everybody has their preferences. I tend to be a mushroom girl myself, but I LSD more often. You know, both of them have similarities as well. Both of them you can sit with at a festival or at a concert, you know. If uh, mushrooms were a uh, burning man, let's say, LSD would be more of a Bonnaroo or a Coachella, no hate LSD. <laughs> and they're very experiential, you know, it's a lot of up and downs, a lot of, it can be a lot of roller coastering, you know, but um, if mushrooms were like the county fair, okay, what was I saying? Mushrooms are the county fair. LSD would be more of a Six Flags or a Disney World, Disneyland sort of experience. You know, you know what I'm saying? Not, not trying to say LSD is more corporate in nature, but it's more of that. They got more LED lights going on, okay? And mushrooms got more of them incandescent lights going on, okay? I hope this is all making sense to you in your mind, all right? Experientially. I mean, I'm a friend, you're a friend. Both of these friends, mushrooms and LSD, they can both be very therapeutic in similar ways, actually. Um, you can sit with both of them to open up the tunnel vision that you might be experiencing in your life. For me, I've been able to literally cure my depression or anxiety. And that is, by the way, impairing psychedelics with things like mindfulness, therapy, exercise, etc. But psychedelics still do a lot of the heavy lifting. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, I don't know about you. Sometimes I like to watch movies when I'm sitting with psychedelics, right? So if uh, mushrooms were like, uh, mushrooms I'd say are like uh, Studio Ghibli, all right? LSD would be more of like a, mm, DreamWorks. I'm gonna say DreamWorks, all right? Or like a Pixar, even. If this was a video game, I would give LSD a novice sort of mode. I don't want to say tutorial mode. I'd say LSD in terms of a psychedelic experience would be, depending on your dose, more of a level one to three in a game. You know, it's an earlier level. It would be an earlier world, okay? It's not gonna be a later world. For a moderate dose, uh, most people 
would be able to sit with LSD without issue, without issue. Of course, if this is your first dose, you're gonna to wanna to start low, dose low, start with a low dose, work your way up to a moderate dose. Remember, I think we talked about that before, if I'm remembering this correctly, friend. But um, yeah, I'm so glad you feel like you can talk with me about this. I hope you have other friends in your life and folks that you can talk to about this kind of stuff because it's good to get other people's opinions and hear other people's experiences. Mushrooms just to me feel a bit more natural, right? So if mushrooms were essential oils, for example, LSD would more so be perfume, okay? It has more of like a chemical feel to it. Um, of course, it is affecting our brain chemistry, as we know, um, but it, both are sweet, both smell nice, both are, I mean, they don't literally smell nice, but both, both are pleasant, for me, at least. Um, one of them just feels a little bit more natural to everything we got going up here uh, than the other one, which feels like a little bit more VR, right? That Oculus, you know, if LSD is VR, mushrooms would be, I don't know, that Amish game Skittles. Have you ever played Skittles before? Don't knock it till you try it. It's a very fun game. I, I quite enjoyed my time with Skittles, but uh, yeah. If LSD is digital, mushrooms are analog. I don't know the ways I can put this and phrase it for you, but um, I tried mushrooms way before I tried LSD. I was actually afraid to try LSD because of a lot of the things I'd heard about LSD that were not true. I don't know if you ever watched that video that I made on my first magic mushroom trip, but um, if you're thinking about trying magic mushrooms first, it would be a pretty solid resource. Um, I'll, I'll send you the link, I'll send you the link. But yeah, do you have any more questions? Safety, safety, yes. Well, LSD always needs to be tested, right? LSD always needs to be tested. Um, you can get a test kit, I'll send you the link for that too. Um, mushrooms, I don't know. Um, I think I've tested mushrooms in the past. Um, a way you can test them is a spore test. However, they usually come dry and you can't get a spore test out of dry mushrooms so easily or maybe even at all. Um, but what matters in terms of sourcing mushrooms is trusting your source. Knowing someone who has tried this specific batch before it has been given to you. It's really hard to fake magic mushrooms, especially because you can a lot of the time see the blue sort of tint in them, and that is literally the psilocybin, right? So yeah, in being safe with everything, and making sure we're prioritizing safety, it's a really solid idea to get a test kit. Do I always test? Yeah, I always test. And then we have the historical differences, right? We have the roots. So LSD was literally discovered in 1938, right? We had different forms of things that were similar to LSD. Uh, I think about ergot and ergotism and um, St. Anthony's fire, if you know anything about that. Ergot was basically uh, an evil fungus that plagued wheat plants. It led to people having really bad and I'm pretty sure life-ending hallucinogenic experiences. Uh, we see this reflected in our history in paintings, like Bosch's paintings, for example. Um, Hieronymus Bosch? Is that how I say it? Hieronymus Bosch? How do you say that? You heard of him, but you're not sure either? Hieronymus? Anyways, mushrooms have a, for the most part, Mexican indigenous lineage, right? So we can trace the lineage of magic mushrooms and mushrooms, you know, all over the world that people ate and had psychedelic properties. We can trace them for thousands of years, but our current, you know, United States psilocybin, cubensis, magic mushroom lineage, we can trace directly back to Oaxaca, Mexico. And I speak more about Oaxaca and Maria Sabina and uh, our Gordon Wilson, who is, uh, you know, kind of an the antagonist of the story uh, and some of my other videos, but I I'll send you some links because, I'll send you some links because if you're trying magic mushrooms for the first time, you should know Maria Sabina's name and you should know her story and you should know the cost that magic mushrooms came at 
to get to you, sitting all cozy and comfy in wherever we're sitting right now in my little den, living room, tapestry room place that I've set up. You should know. You should know. And one last thing that both of these substances have in common is that they're very illegal, right? So at least in the US, right, they are a schedule one drug, which means that friend, you do not wanna be caught with them. You do not wanna be caught with any amount of them. For the most part, outside of maybe your closest friends, you don't really wanna let people know that you have them. You wanna be really safe with your use of them. A schedule one drug is the most dangerous type of drug. Uh, the losses, mushrooms, and acid on par with bath salts and heroin, okay? So it's very serious. Please take extreme caution when you're sourcing them. I have a list of uh, mushroom trials. I'll send you the link, I'll send you the link, um, where you can find a legal magic mushroom trial near you. And that is one way that you can experience them legally, you know, uh, unless you're in Oregon. And to my understanding, Oregon has begun making mushrooms accessible um, in a different sort of way. I'm not in Oregon, so I'm not privileged to that degree. But anyways, friend, I hope our conversation today has helped you out. You know, mushrooms are natural, emotion, LSD, VR, vibes, you know, they're, they're different. They're they're definitely cousins of experiences, right? But they're not siblings and they're certainly not twins. So don't let, you t don't let anybody tell you, don't let anybody tell you that there ain't that big of a difference because there is. And you know it when you feel it. You know, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. And um, you know I have that YouTube channel, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I talked about it like last week. Uh, make sure to subscribe to that because I put out a bunch of really fun educational videos about magic mushrooms especially but i hope to do more videos on lsd in the future and more videos just like the conversation we had here today so i hope you got something out of it i hope you learned about it uh, please subscribe to that youtube channel and check out my other videos up on there and yeah i just you know i want to see the best for your friend i love you so much and i'm glad you felt like you could talk to me today and trust me and yeah, I just encourage you to keep it trippy. I think our brownies are ready.